the feeling about this trailer? It was fast paced and it, the music kept it, you know, it like seemed high energy so you were always watching, it kept your attention. Um, it was probably um, the way in which it told the story but didn't tell the story, if you get what I mean. It yeah, it, it, it left it, enough left you left wondering. enough for you to want to go and watch it, but you know what's basically going to happen. Giving you, you know? a taster, so you're yeah, by the Yeah, exactly. Of it. So, you, if, if, if this, like, obviously, you like this trailer, you know what you're going to watch. Because it's about some people going and chasing down a mummy, uh, of, or something which is 3,000 years old. Um, yet you won't know exactly if they do that, what, what happens, how it's happened, all of that. So, it leaves a lot of questions to be asked. Yeah. Right. What is the most memorable part of this trailer? The, the bit at the end where the screen goes black and then there's another hit from music and some like logos come up, that was a bit confusing, but... So the uh, trademarks of the company is that, yeah, that stuck in my funded mind. this project. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. George? Um, in a way I'd echo that because it kind of gives you a last shout in your face before the Finishes, so like, so a yeah. shock that makes yeah. you remember the trailer. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like it, it says at the bottom as well. If I remember correctly, the, uh, the mummy, you know, the film name. So you, mm. you are finding out something from that last screen. Just set, kind of, you think it's over, and you're like, okay, then then it screams in your face, and it might just tell you that this film is full of surprises. How did it compare to your expectations? It seemed as. As much of a thriller as the actual film itself, so it was. It, it was a good representation of what the film was like. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure. I had any expectations before seeing the trailer. To be fair, because obviously there's so much you can. There's so much you can learn from the um, trailer name of the mummy. So it's going to be about some form of mummy, um, whether that be a, like a literal mummy, like a mother, or. It could be um, like a, a, an Egyptian mummy. So my expectations were that it was either going to be obviously some fa some kind of cheesy family film about somebody's mother, or it was going to be some kind of thriller about a, an Egyptian mummy. So it met my yeah. expectations in the fact that it was something that I thought it could have been. Right. What aspects of the trailer did you like and dislike? It showed you a lot of the film, and um, but like. In, in small bits, so you got a taste of the whole film, and it really sparked an interest. The bits that I didn't like, um, a lot of the um, shots passed very quickly, so it was a bit difficult to follow, mm. because they, they passed quickly, and you, uh, you, you were just given like snatches, and so some of the images you end up forgetting. So that's a dislike from yeah. you then? So the uh, fast paced cut editing was too quick yeah. with the shots. Yeah. Um, I liked the way it created the tension, that's why with the music and obviously the fast paced shots. But I really didn't like the voiceover where it said that some, something like this year, you know, the film coming out. I just thought it was really, really cheesy. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously it's, it's, it's the year it's created, but I just thought that just kind of spoiled it a little bit because it's, it's a really thrilling film until that point where it just makes it seem like it's a child's film really because that's something you'd expect in a child film trailer. Yeah, all these trailers are of adventure films um, just trying to find the codes and conventions <laughs> that make them what yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually builds that genre. Yeah, that's good. What, if any, changes would you suggest to improve the trailer? Um, continuing from what I just said, I'd get rid of the voiceover and maybe put it in words instead. Um, so maybe just a fast cut to something like this year. Um, and just basically exactly what he said in words, just put into it, what he's spoken, just put it into words in the trailer because it'll just make it seem a little bit more engaging, um, interactive. yeah, and a little bit more professional as well because you wouldn't expect mm. a voiceover. You'd yeah. expect a voiceover from some like amateur creation rather than something being a professional. Well, the thing with it, if you put the words on the screen, like you said, is it yeah. more interactive? You, it engages the audience more because they actually have to read something more than they're just being mm. told. So it draws them in yeah. uh, before it starts. Sh shoving a hundred shots at them. Yeah. Yeah. But they could have started with that for example, like they could just start with the this this year and just slowly build up the tension rather than just getting straight into it and then having a voice which detracts from it all. Yeah.